Oh yeah, it's me again. So, this morning, I'm gonna tune up my Bofang 1000 with uh, somebody else's files, which I will show you in a bit. But it's a simple little job. All you need is obviously the Bofang. This special cable for programming. You need a laptop or a PC. I find it easier to use a laptop because I can actually bring it down to my shed and do what I want to do with it. And that's the only reason I really got this laptop because I don't really need it for nothing else, but that's all I use it for. Yeah, and uh, it's running Windows 11. And it's plenty fast enough for doing what I need to do. So basically all you do with this one here, you connect it into the main one coming off of your screen so you know to go to this one here so like basically what you do is follow the wire down so you know you're going to this one when i pop it off it should be green inside so as you know you're going green to green so basically connect the wire into here that goes straight to there make sure the battery's off while you do all that and then put your usb into your pc Basically, then turn your battery on, fire up your software, and that's it, really. It's really simple. You might have to mess about getting drivers and stuff. I'll show you what I can, what I've got on my laptop, so you can see. But yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna, I can't wire it one handed, so I'm gonna wire it all up, and then I'll explain it all to you again. Catch you in a sec. Okay. So this is the one you need to connect to in here, the green one going to the motor and your green one from the cable. Straight in there like that and then put it in your USB of your laptop. Okay, so here's all my uh, files that I keep on here and basically I've got backups always make backups that's my norco backup and my truck backup it's all in there so uh basically all i do is you've got the configuration tool here we'll open it up here's the executable and here's the tool so it's basically open that up as you can see this is the software you need and over here is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this guy's here pen offs in here you'll see how it works in a minute it's quite simple and straightforward so i plug the bike in and as you can see my usb has no power at the moment so as soon as I turn the battery on to give the bike power, power, the actual red light should light on here. I'll show you. So there you go. I've now switched it on and I've got a little red LED there. Look, I think you should be able to see it. So all I need to do now is plug the USB into my laptop. You could hear it connect, so now it's connected. Basically, I can go on here and search for the COM. And on mine, look, it's come up as COM3. So I can now connect. And here you go, it's brought up my motor. Okay, so I'm on, like, it, my voltage is wrong. I'm actually using it should come up at 58 volts which is standard for a 52 volt but i don't know why it's just the way the way the controller is on this bike but it works absolutely fine right so basically i can get here and i'll read the flash so now it's done a successful read and as you can see i've got everything down here set to 100 but what I'm going to do is, 
I'm going to set up pen-offs because I did it on my Norco and it was a hell of a lot smoother ride. So I'll do that now. Oh, I'll just before I do that, I'll just show you the uh, pedal assist and all that. Now I use keep current to 80%, which I find really good. So yeah, so <clears throat> basically I just have to come back in, make sure that's there. The hand throttle handle, I don't touch none of them settings because I don't really use the throttle. But basically, what I've got to do is find this one. So basically, what I'm going to do is put pen offs, pen offs on, and it's a simple thing. Just do that, click on file, load, and here you go. There's a default, there's a default profile, and this is the one I'm after a pen off. So I just do that, open, and as you can see, they've all changed the whole lot. Okay, now you've got to remember to put this back to 30 if you're using a 1000. So there you go, up to the top, that gives me full power, and on here. You could change it to I, I think it's 28 for a fat bike but I'm not 100% sure about that it's just to set the speed limiter but I don't actually touch any of that part on here I do it all on the actual bike itself so yeah so that's it so as they as you can see they put this back keep the current to 60 so I'll put it back to 80 where I always have it and the keep current is basically when you're pedaling so it'll always stay to 80 so it don't drop down you could have it on 100 but uh, it's a bit pointless really but yeah so everything else I leave the same I don't touch none of that and I don't touch the throttle because I don't use the throttle that much so it's not going to mean much to me you know so if you want to know anything about setting the throttle, you'll have to look elsewhere for that, I'm afraid. But yeah, I'm on 41 volts, because that's where it says it's best for this, for this type of bike, the way I've got it set up. So yeah, so that, that basically, if you're using a 1000, make sure you put it to that. If you're using a 750 or lower, make sure you put it to the 25 or 26, you know, that sort of stuff like but yeah, and that's it. So now all I need to do is hit right. And now that has sent those files straight to my bike. Now before you do all this, make sure when you connect everything up, get it all working, you make sure you do a copy, like save, save a version of what you've got set up before you start. So if you bugger anything up, you can always go back. Okay? But it's as simple as that. All right. So I done my changes. I changed me third to me amps to thirty, and I changed my pedal assist keep current to eighty. That's it. That's the only changes I make on his software. Okay. So now if I go to read flash, which will read from the bike, I should have exactly the same settings. There you go got to keep 30 let's go on here and there's your 80 and that's it it's as simple as that so now all you do is exit the program and exit it there now what you do is you turn the bike battery off I'll try and show you so on here go over to your battery Turn the power off. And as you can see, there was a blue light there flashing. Didn't already quite seen it. But basically, it's getting power now from the USB. So I unplug. And basically, take the bike. Take the bike for a ride. Reconnect this, obviously. Reconnect this back into the monitor. I'll check my wheel setting before I leave. Yeah, and give it a ride. And I have found these... Uh, pen offs 
to be really smooth when you're changing gear and stuff like that and that's why i've decided to put it on the track because i've had it i've been running it on the norco for about a month or so now and it's really good anyway if you like what you're seeing make sure you subscribe and click like and also stay safe out there and get out and ride